give them what they expect, of course, you know, as far as the, 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 uh, the justice, the revenge, you know, that's coming. The, the equalizer moments, the countdowns, those things. Um, but the story itself has to evolve in a way that you haven't experienced. And McCall himself has to be different each time. That's really the key. Obviously, shooting in Italy is very different. So that helps a lot, you know. So, yeah, that's the key. And then doing it in Italian. I mean, the fact that Sony uh, gave me the green light to shoot this movie in the actual language, most of it, is incredible. I think the reason that Denzel does it again, obviously he's not here to speak on his behalf, but <clears throat> I know whenever we talk, he says, man, I was somewhere and people keep coming up to me saying, when is Robert McCall, you know, when are you going to do another Robert McCall? And it used to be training day, but now it's all about Robert McCall. Robert McCall, when is he coming back? And I think they're connecting to the common man element of him and that he gets the revenge um, of the revenge they can't get in real life sometime. Just the international um, uh, element is, is, is special, in Sicily and all that kind of stuff. But then obviously having Dakota coming into it and playing the CIA agent is very cool. It's, it takes us back to Man on Fire when she was a little, little, little kid and seeing them come together again makes it really special. Also, the idea that Robert McCall, which I won't spoil the surprise, um, has to deal with his own personal issues and this one, um, not just helping other people, he has to help himself. So that's very important. Oh, you have to see this in the theater. It's, it's epic. You know, the locations, the, the scope of the shots, the beauty, the, the violence that you experience is completely different than being at home. The sound, the surround sound, we put so much into the Atmos sound of the film. Um, you feel like you're in Italy when you go to this movie. It's the only way to really have the full experience of the Equalizer 3. Most proud that I'm able to do a third installment. I mean, you know, that's not a regular thing, as we all know. It's like, especially a film like this, that's more grounded, you know, and it's, it's not um, in the superhero world as we know it. So it's, really, it's great to be able to tell a story like this with real characters, um, real drama, and things we can relate to um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I think it's really important to be able to continue these type of stories with this kind of hero. The dynamic of Dakota and Denzel is so special. You know, it's almost like from Man on Fire, if there was a version of them when they're older that continued on in life, this would be it, you know? So if you're a fan of Man on Fire and that, you would love to see them together in this. So it's a great experience to see. Their chemistry is fantastic. Well, he's found himself in this small town and he sees what they're doing to these people and reluctantly he's trying not to get involved but he can't help himself because he's robert mccall and so these people will completely lose their lives and their livelihood if he doesn't get involved so that's what pushes them in but also it's important to know that in this film you'll see them help him there's a moment where they step up for him which we haven't seen yet in any of the equalizers yeah we talked about filming internationally for a while. I always saw McCall as more of a, a working man's James Bond, if you will. So internationally made sense. Uh, he's a man of mystery. You don't know what he knows and what he doesn't know, where he's been, where he hasn't been, what, how many languages he speaks. Uh, so when I read Richard's script uh, about Italy, uh, filming in Italy, it was, it was the perfect, uh, it's the perfect environment for McCall. Uh, Denzel himself loves it, loves Italy. He's been coming here for 30 some years, I think, since his kids were little. Um, <clears throat> also, um, it's a romantic place. It's a beautiful place. Um, it has a history of cinema and uh, <clears throat> it can be a dangerous place as well, in places like Naples at times. So it made sense for McCall to find himself here um, and find a home. Here in he has to figure out what side he wants to be on, you know. Um, there's an opportunity for him to possibly find love, find a home. Um, what he's missing is love and a home. Um, not just with one person, but with uh, a town of people. Um, so the opportunity for him to redeem himself, if you will, and it's not for anyone else but himself. He's going through an internal battle, you know, doing the right thing. Uh, helping those who can't help themselves, handing out justice his way, 
uh, to evil people finds that he finds himself, has he gone too far? Is he enjoying it too much? Is he doing it for the right reasons still? So he's questioning himself. And there's an event that takes place that obviously sends him down that path uh, unwillingly. And uh, he has a decision to make. Dakota's character, Emma, certainly triggers a part of McCall that's been missing. Denzel constantly surprises me because the environment changes. It's like an athlete, as you said. If Michael Jordan's playing against uh, the Celtics, there's one game. If he's playing against the Lakers, it's another game. Like each, each situation Denzel's in, he's so much in the situation, in the, in the moment as that character, that there's times I'm discovering what he's going to do constantly. You know, the, me and Bob Richardson, the DP, constantly crack a joke. We'll set up some lights. We'll be ready. And we're like, he's not going to do any of that. <laughs> But we'll be ready, you know. He comes in and he'll just do, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, you know. So, yeah, he's just in the moment, man. He's like, I always say he's like Michael Jordan or Kobe or Ali. Denzel's an athlete as well. He's in the moment. He's in the fight. Whatever it is, he's just there. Yeah. Well, Altamonte is a beautiful town on the sea. It's a small town. It moves slow. The people move slow. It steps everywhere, so you know you got to take your time, or you'll be wore out by the end of the day. Um, and it's just—it's like going back in time. It's a beautiful place, and uh, it makes sense for McCall. I mean, he's an old-fashioned guy, really. You know, he's from the old school. He's very simple, and it's a very simple town. Simple people, you know, fishermen town. Um, people live their lives; they're not striving to for riches and for fame. They're just living their lives like McCall. And immediately when we got there, when I was scouting, my whole body just sort of, you just have to slow down. And as you're walking up the steps, the steps to the church, it's like, I don't know, 700 steps or something like that. You have to slow down. Bob Richardson is just one of our great cinematographers. You know, he's um, a great artist and he worked together, obviously both of them on Emancipation, our last film. And, uh, it, it, again, having people like Bob, Naomi, Conrad Buff, my editor, who's worked with, who did all the Equalizer films and Training Day, um, it's like having your your a, a group of musicians and you just make music together, and you know, you know, you can. <clears throat> there's days where um, me and Bob, I don't, I don't have to tell him what I'm thinking. I literally, this happened today. Today, I'll, I'll thinking something, and I'll. Hey, Bob, you know, he goes, you want to shoot the bag over here? I was like, yeah, Zach. He goes, look at the camera. He already moved it over there, you know? So things like that happen. He's my brother, man. She happens to be an actress who's very talented, who no one knew about, and lives in Naples. And I was looking for that for Equalizer. It's a needle in a haystack. And, and obviously, she speaks fluent Italian. I mean, I, where are you going to find that at? Half Italian, half black, beautiful, can act. Speaks fluent Italian, you know, so needle in the haystack. It was incredible. I, I, I think she's a star. The mafia that I grew up watching uh, has changed. You know, the, these young guys are wild and some of them are dangerous and the rules are different, you know, and um, they're, they're modern, they're a modern version of that criminal activity. Um, you I just try to keep my finger on the pulse of what's happening in the, in the real world. And that's a big threat, obviously. Um, they're younger. They're, um, their loyalties are different. You know, um, the code of ethics are just different. You know, um, they're dangerous. And they're dangerous because they're young. In a smaller town, they're much more dangerous. Um, I'm from a smaller town in Pittsburgh, you know, and there's a lot of that was there at the time. We used to always say smaller towns, bigger guns, you know, because what are you going to do? You know, these guys come in into a small town. The police department is very small, which means they're easily to get to. Um, if someone in there, like our character, Joe, you have to have a lot of dignity and you have to be very brave because it's not like you can hide, like, you know, it's your town. It's like a Western, 
you know, you're the sheriff. So they're coming after you. You may have a deputy or two, but you can't hide behind a big machine. You know, um, that makes it makes you more vulnerable um, for for uh, to be corrupted, to be beaten or hurt. So you have to really have your uh, moral compass. This equalizer is more personal. It's much more personal than the others. The other ones are, are personal, but this one's much more personal because this is something that he, the battles with himself as well. It's not just with the bad guys. He's witnessing bad behavior from these bad guys that are threatening good people. He spent his whole life helping these type of people. How do you just walk away from that? I think they can expect uh, a lot of fun, um, some romance, which they don't expect, a beautiful location, um, taking them uh, someplace they may not have been before uh, in this particular village, and a very personal McCall. And they'll learn some things about McCall that they didn't know. The code is just amazing. Like literally every day, she's so on the money every day. She's so focused. She's so talented. She's been doing it since she was what five years old, and she's just a pro. Um, give her one note and sh boom. Not a lot of talking or anything. She just she gets it right away. She she understands technically where you are. Um, the code is special. I, I crack jokes all the time. I say you're just a samurai. You just come in and just sh 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 boom. She's out. You know and. Uh, Obviously, putting her and Denzel together again was a special thing to see. Um, I think they enjoyed it as well. Um, I certainly did. And uh, she's just special. She's just a she's just a treasure. Surprises me every time. I'm like, wow. Okay. And he just starts to do his thing, and he magic starts happening. It just starts to happen, you know. And um, I'm always lucky and blessed to to be behind the camera to see it, but uh, it's not something you can predict. <laughs>